Okay, so here's a short video. Shows the stack washer and dryer, 24 inch whirlpool. We have painted this room, the ceiling, the crown molding. I don't know if you can see the crown molding. I'm happy with the way it turned out. You see the PVC conduit coming down, painted to match the crown molding. And then we come over here to the 50 amp outlet, the dryer vent going straight outside, and there's a cap that goes on the outside as a vent cover, and of course the drain, and something a little unusual, the water spigots right at the floor level. Outside of this room, we'll take a look, there's a roof. That roof comes up about a foot above the floor in this room. So, the dryer vent vents above the roof. And the water drain and supply lines below the roof. I didn't want to run the fresh water supply line above the roof. So it meant I had to put it at the floor level. But I put ball shutoff valves on it. So that will handle that just fine. And the back of the dryer and washer, this is a step down mm, power converter that converts from 220 to 110 because the dryer and washer are actually, the dryer is probably 220, but the washer is 110. So, the plug, and then the drain, I mean the vent, the drain line, and the two hot and cold. And, this is what the cover looks like on the outside. And it's got some flanges so that it will fit in just like this. That's what it'll look like on the outside. I took a uh, cable that's covered with a plastic and clamped down as a security cable that goes with a padlock. Hooked it onto the frame, security frame for the house, the window. And I pulled that out there. I wore my work pouch, which is leather with a mm, two and a half inch wide belt. And uh, used a clip, a hiker's clip. Can't remember the name right now clipped it onto my belt so that if I lost my footing I wouldn't go over the edge. So there we go. This is everything is done and I am about ready to hook this guy up and see if it will work. I'm confident all is well.